MTD CNC, bringing you the latest engineering news, reviews, events, and special offers via video media. Paul, we've got a new machine here. This is the Boomatech S181. What actually is it? It's a, it's a compact, nine-axis, multitasking machine with, with concurrent second operation capability. OK, and I say it's a new machine. Why, why have you developed this, this product? Well, in response to our customers' uh, a request, really, to reduce the part costs that they're actually producing, most of our customers produce um, small, very accurate micro-mechanical type parts and they need to reduce those costs to keep competitive within the market. So this machine was our answer. Okay, and when I look at this machine, there's, there's lots of machine tools in the market, twin turret machines, twin spindle machines, but this isn't a twin spindle, this is a single spindle machine with a C-axis as well. Yes, this is, as, as, as I previously said, this is a nine-axis machine. It, it has a main turning and milling spindle and then it also has a secondary spindle with C-axis and, and five milling spindles to work with for second operation work. Right, and what is the advantage of this, call it, setup or configuration over maybe other production orientated machines? Well, there are a number of advantages. One of the, one of the obvious advantages really is the size of the machine itself. It's extremely compact, which, which, which means that uh, the customer with a limited shop floor space can have great productivity per square meter from his shop floor. Applications, Paul, what, what type of parts would be manufactured on here? Well, in very simple terms, what, what we generally say is if you can hold the part in, in your hand, then it's a suitable part for this type of machine. Uh, we can go from this, this size part here right down to this smallest part here. Uh, this particular machine is configured to carry a 32 millimeter bar through the spindle. Right, OK, now with, a, with components like the ones we're looking at or we've looked at here, what about the automation cycle? So once one part is finished, would it be put into a parts catcher or a parts bin on this machine as well? Absolutely. We, we deal with a lot of, a lot of different mi micro-mechanical type parts. Um, some, some parts you have to be very careful in, in the way you handle them. So, so once the part is finished, we can configure the machine then so, so that it loads the part onto a conveyor and safely takes it away from the machine with, with no damage to the part at all. Okay, now the Boomatech is a, is a premium quality machine tool. Let's touch on some of the characteristics. Let's talk about maybe the spindle speed, uh, the tool changer. How fast is this machine? Okay, well this is a linear motor machine. So the point of it being linear motor is that it, 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 it cuts out non-productive machine time. And it, makes, and, it, and it takes it to an absolute minimum. The, the, the spindle is a 6,000 RPM spindle. It has 11 kilowatts. So it also means that this machine can process not only aluminium and brass, but it's also very comfortable with stainless steels, with titaniums, and even cobalt chrome parts. So what about the B-axis for the milling? I mean, can you achieve negative angle machining? Yes, the B-axis for this machine can, can achieve significant negative b-axis ang angles very easily. Okay, and then I, I, I like the fact, I like lots of things about the machine, but your tool changer up here, it's all very neat and tidy, and in fact, as a summary, it would be to describe the machine, it is a very sort of neat, tidy, nimble machine to look at. Very, very tidy machine. The tool magazine, as you just mentioned, it has a 90 tool capacity, but it's also available with 30 or 60, depending again on, on the application. Okay, and then production, uh, control that's a, a, a key aspect of any machine tool I know here you've got the FANUC panel I what is that a difference to a normal FANUC control yes it is this is uh, this is one of the latest FANUC five axis controls it's based on a, a, a FANUC, FANUC PC based controller for five axis the panel I is, is the human machine in, interface which means it has a touch screen so it makes it very very easy to operate so it's a very impressive machine here, Paul, and I know it's, it, it's being launched here at Emo, but who's actually going to buy this type of product? So this machine is really targeted at the, at the medical industry for the manufacture of both the instruments and, and trauma components, the dental industry for implants, for example, and also for the general micro-mechanical industry where there are small, extremely complex parts that need to be accurately produced very efficiently. 
the look and feel of the machine is great, but as an engineer, what could you expect to save tangibly from using this type of concept? Our customers can expect to save around 35 to 40 percent of their current cycle times on on using this machine when you're comparing this against a modern machining centre. So the the, the savings they can expect are very substantial indeed. So as a result of the configuration and the way the machine's put together, there is big savings to be had. Huge savings, not just big. For more videos, products and news, go to mtdcnc.com or follow MTD Online on Twitter.